Hi guys, this is Rob with Digital Bike. Today we're gonna, or I'm gonna be reviewing the Tula 10 uh, Digital Bike uh, Pump. Uh, it's $37.99 on Amazon, and uh, we're gonna do the complete unboxing and try it out on one of the, or a couple of the bikes we have here. Um, so here we go. So it's the Tolatin pressure. Uh, it'll do Schrader and Presto valves. Uh, 19.1 kilograms. Uh, so it's saying it'll do car, bike, moped, and motorcycle. So inside the box, it doesn't look like there's any instructions. Um, kind of a convenient holder for the different plugs, graphs, and everything else that you want to fill up. Looks like an extra O-ring. It's um, looks like extra feet, if I would have to guess. No, maybe not. It says lock, unlock on these. <clears throat> ah, so it's extra. Kind of odd that they send you extras. I guess they are then known to break. Let's pull out the battery thing. Hey, it lights right up. The battery door did open up when I did it. So I'll push that back in. And it's on PSI, which is awesome. And let's see if we can get it to unlock. Go forward for unlock. There we go. So this one's supposed to be higher capacity, it's supposed to um, fill pretty quick. Um, one of the bikes I have here today is one that we just got. It is a, um, a Rockabilly bike by Electra. It's kind of in rough shape right now, so it needs some love. Um, and we're going to be filling that one up. I haven't filled the tires on it yet. so. Alright guys, here we go. Um, we're going to try out the new bike pump. The first one is the Rockabilly. Um, like I said, it's super dirty. We just picked it up. I uh, haven't cleaned it up, haven't done anything to it. It is as is. And here we go. So I'm taking it that it definitely needs some air. Uh, these tires hold 50 pounds. The good news is they still have pressure on them. Getting a little bit of resistance as I do it. 
finished floor in here. We do have sand down. Uh, it's definitely sliding around some. It's definitely easier than using the hand pump uh, that I've mounted on the bike. So that's 40. Taking that second for the gauge to settle down. And there we are, 50 pounds. Yep. Let's be looking just a tad. Completing filling up the bikes, or at least those two. Um, the bike worked pretty, or the bike pump worked pretty quick. Um, we did have one issue, and we'll see if it picked it up. Um, this pad slides off like so, and so it. It slid off as we were, as I was pumping, my foot slid off and it pulled the whole pad off with it. So this part of the, the foot pump is really slick with oil at this point. So, um, do I think it's a dale breaker? No, you just have to be careful. It's kind of a, just something to be careful and watch out for. Um, having the digital gauge is nice because you know exactly where you, you stand at that point. I did move all the accessories down. Um, as I was pumping, they were getting in the way, getting caught up in the spokes as I was pulling it off. It says it about 260 pounds. I don't know if it will be legitimate to go that high with it. It's probably going to, you're probably definitely going to be standing on it pretty hard. I'm a big dude. Um, you know, 6'2", 290. So... If it's a smaller person, it may be a little more work trying to get all that air to push through that. Um, it's definitely, at this point, uh, I would say it's worth the, the $38 to go ahead and get it. I was using a little hand pump, uh, pumping up the tires that I carry with me when I ride. So, um, and so it's the Tooletin foot bike pump. You can find it on Amazon. And um, I think it's a good choice at this point. We'll keep you updated as I use it.